Hey guys, GhostTore38 here, wanted to bring you another G.I. Joe Sigma 6 review. Today I'm going to be showing you the Soldier Class Desert Long Range. He was released in Wave 2. He came out around May of 2006 and his retail price was $10. Um, he is complete. Everything you see here was everything I got and I did and I looked over the visual checklist that came with the figure and everything's here. So that's nice. Um, his accessories are a canteen, a revolver, his hat, and this rocket slash mortar. This this rocket launcher slash mortar launcher. Um, the piece here on the bottom is actually the scope. The piece here on the side is the swivel or rotation. Actually, no, no, no. From what the instruction said, this is the sight piece. The swivel's here. Obviously, it doesn't really work. Obviously, the pieces don't work. It's just for play value. And the missile and the mortar is here. The weapon is fired with this switch on the bottom. Obviously, it's angled out. It's angled up so it doesn't go very far. The missile is here. All right, that's really about it. Um, kind of taking a look at the figure first. The figure uses all of the standard Sigma-6 articulation, so I don't really need to go over that. What I did want to draw your attention to is the head sculpt, and that's the thing that changed a little bit. I have for here comparison between the original long range from my first vit figure, and you can actually help see a little bit of the comparison here from the angle. Um, I'll be using my pen to indicate what changes in the figure, unless you probably can't see it, but from what I did some reading on, the chin has been changed a little bit. It's been drawn in and not, like, it's not as pronounced. Come on, focus here. Thank you. And the nose sculpt has changed a little bit. It's not as pointed and pronounced, and it's been drawn in a little. Now, you guys probably can't see it from here. You'd have to look at it with a micro. You'd have to, like, look at it really close up. But I can tell you there have been some changes to the head sculpt. Other than that, the figure is the exact same. In fact, if I took off the coat here, it's the exact same body mold. Obviously. Just obviously here he has, um... No, I want to say, no, the, he has his bare arms here, this is just his Sigma suit. But yeah, there's not real much change between the figures, they're still the same, just repainted, painted a different color, he has his arms here, the head sculpt changed a little bit, and he, of course he has different accessories. Um, so I'll take the original long range back off to the side, because this video is about Desert Long Range. I really like this figure. I'm definitely glad I have him in my collection. Put him off to the side here. Again, he has the same articulation as all the figures. Arms go out that far. Joints move this way. Hands rotate. Twist it here. You can move it up and down. I'm just showing you on one arm because um, it, it works the same on both ways. Legs go out that far, but because of the fact that the holster here is, can, is pegged into it, this leg doesn't go out that far. However, if you unpeg it and take off the holster, he goes out far the same way. He pretty much goes the same way. Leg bends that far, and toe can bend up and down. Come on. 
I really like this figure, and I'm glad I have it in my collection. This is pretty much Desert Ops, long range. He has his... Balaclava, not Balaclava, it's not Shockwave, Bandana. You can, this is um, sewed together. So you can't really take this off, and it's kind of a hassle to do so. Um, but one of the poses I like to display him in is has it above his nose. So he kind of reminds me kind of like Dusty. But the only, um, well, the only problem is um, it doesn't sit really well with his hat on it. So you have to take it down. And that's also another thing kind of talking about his accessories here. He has a hat here. The hat here is, you probably can't see it real well on the camera. But there's a couple notches on the one of the straps here. And the other strap here locks into one of those straps. And that's when you put the hat on his head. He has a nice revolver here. I really like it. Well, let's see if I can... Um, it fits perfectly into the holster here. Just slides right in and sets in place. Just like so. He has a canteen. There's a peg on it. Has some nice coloring here. There's a couple ammo. Uh, attachments here, um, a rest for it to sit, but it doesn't, but it can't sit anywhere, it just lays down. You can either attach it to the pegs on his belt here, or what I do is um, I attach it to his leg, or like I said, these can be put anywhere. But yeah, you can pretty much put it wherever. That's what the modular ports are for. So you can do where, wherever. Nope, that gun's not one to stay put. Um, crud. Stay put long range. Anyway. Um, this is the missile launcher slash mortar. Um, okay, nope, this is a mortar. Round. Take that off here, just looking at it like this. This is the mortar round. Goes here. Fires that way. Also a clip comes down the handle here. And also this um, slides a little bit, but that was more for um, packaging purposes. This piece comes off, but that was more for um, the packaging when the figure was in the box. But anyway, there was that. This is the shoulder rest. The port, the back here, is to store the sight, and you can plug this on either the left or right hand sides, wherever you want to have them hold it. So there's that. This is pretty much the scope. Then this attaches to the bottom, like I had it shown at the beginning of the video, for a mortar round. Uh, but anyway, that's my short little video on that. Um, I really, really like this figure. I'm glad to have him in my collection. Sorry about that. That's my phone pinging while I'm talking. But anyway, I really like this figure. I'm glad to have him in my collection. And I don't regret buying him. I will be happy to display this with Desert Wolf because honestly, I feel like this works best. Um, because if anything, he would be the Joe that Long Range would encounter out there in Desert Ops. Um, some people I've heard say the mortar isn't the best accessory. 
it's nice for what it is. Honestly, it's probably more for artillery. It'd probably be better for artillery support. After all, Desert Wolf has the sniper and the gun and essentially long range is rifle. Um, long range with the mortar for artillery support. And he, of course, has his revolver. But honestly, it kind of reminds me of kind of like the Lone Ranger a little bit. Except that he except didn't have the bandana. He had a mask over his face. But anyway, um, if you don't have this figure, I'd highly recommend adding it to your Sigma-6 collection. The accessories is, may, may or may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I like it for what it is. Um, I picked this up for 25 not 25 um, less than that. $16. Um, a little round plus shipping and handling was around 20 bucks. The figure itself was $16, so can't complain. But anyway, um, that's my little look at Desert Long Range. I hope you guys like this little look-see. I didn't really go as much with in-depth about the figures is because um, well, I didn't, what you partly probably saw in my hand, there was a little bit more of a bandage on their hand. I got um, my hand uh, cut last night at work. So it's made things a little harder to handle things right now, um, pieces right now. So I, that's why I was light on handling the figure. So yeah, it's going to be healing for a little while. Then I'll be back to making videos as normal. So that's why I had to make this little bit here. But anyway, I hope you guys like this little look at long range. Um, comment below your favorite GI Joe. Click that like if you enjoyed this video. Click the bell notification and turn your settings to all so you'll be updated when I make more videos like this. And until then, take care and I will see you guys all next time. Hope you have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And until then, take care, have a good rest of your day, and peace. Yo Joe.